All right, you guys, welcome to a uh, nice, calm descent. Actually, not nearly as bumpy as I thought it would be into Death Valley here. Scorching hot down there. We're passing through 8,000 feet, descending down to 5.5 five for now, but I'll keep that coming. And, and it's currently... Uh, um, all right, I'll give you another spot gun if you want to pick the IFR later. Stand by one. It's currently 19 degrees Celsius at 8,000 feet, so <laughs> we'll see what happens down there. The airport's at close to 2,000, so I have 6,000 feet to lose, 2 degrees Celsius per thousand, that's 12 degrees. Probably looking at about 32, 33 degrees Celsius on the ground. Um, and the day will continue to heat up. It's only 8.30 a.m. in the morning. Otherwise, uh, we're about, let's see, 15 miles to the south of Trona Airport here in Death Valley. And uh, typically the runway that's favored is runway 17. Heading south. And I'm coming from the south, so I'll do a left downwind left traffic runway 17 um, and land to the south. And looking at the winds right now, looks like it's actually uh, blowing from south to north, but we'll see what happens when I get down uh, closer to the surface. But 9 out of 10 times runway 17 is favored and in use. So there we have it 74 for 5,500 for now. Actually, I'll keep the descent coming and we'll go straight to 2,700 feet. Um, and looking at the banana here, it should actually get me just about to 27, right around the time I want to get to 27, uh, entering the traffic pattern. And that's about that. Nice, beautiful, calm, surprisingly not bumpy, smooth ride down into Trona Airport. Everything looks good. This flight... Uh, Took just about an hour and 20 minutes or so, heading up from LA. Um, uneventful, smooth flight. And here we go, into the hot desert. All looks good. I got the CTAF frequency ready to go, 122.9er on the standby. I'm currently on flight following the Joshua approach. In a little bit here, they should say, hey, 1215 Golf, no traffic is observed between you and the airport. Um, Squawk VFR, frequency change is approved. Have a good day. And that's it. And at that point, I'll switch to 22.9er, which is the CTAF for Trona, and uh, let people know where I'm at, what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, what I want, where I'm going, um, just filling people in. No one here, um, believe it or not, I've been to this airport many, many, many times, and I've never seen another plane here with me, uh, which is kind of crazy. Um, but I can't get too complacent with that because the day will show up and there'll be another plane here with me. So, got to keep them calls, them calls, got to keep those calls coming um, as if there's other people at the airport. And that's the thing about non-towered airports. It's very easy to, um, you know, say, oh, I don't see anyone, there's no one there, um, and just sort of not make your calls or just do your own thing. But really, remember, if you're in an area where ADSB out is not required, at least yet, um, you might not see traffic. You might not see someone. Um, and so the fact that you don't see them on a screen, your screen doesn't mean they're not there. The fact you don't hear them on the radio doesn't mean they're not there. Because remember, you don't have to have a radio at uh, a non-towered airport, which is kind of hard to imagine. You don't even need to have an electrical system on your airplane. Um, so keep that in mind. The fact that you don't see anyone doesn't mean there's no one there. So you'd want to keep those calls coming um, and really your procedures as close to as you would um, in the event that the airport you're going to land at is busy. And there's a lot of traffic. Uh, in the exception of, like, I, I get the whole, there's no one there, I'll do a straight in, you know. Um, I get that. But you don't want to be complacent on your radio calls and things like that. You kind of want to let people know. Also, typically there's someone who's at the, these airports on the ground monitoring the radio and stuff. And so you can make your calls. Here's another benefit to it. You can make your calls like I will right now in a moment. And if, the, if I'm saying I'm setting up for left traffic 17 and the guy on the ground sees that 3-5 is in use or the winds are favoring 3-5, they could get on the radio and tell me, hey, I heard you're uh, 10 miles out. We're using, or 3-5 is favored right now, so I could go ahead and set up for that. So that's another benefit for announcing your position and your calls and, and all the good stuff. So keep that in mind. The fact that you don't see anyone doesn't mean no one is there. 
All right, the airport is right here to my left. I'll go to make a call. I'll actually uh, switch. I'll let approach know. At approach 1205 Golf, looking for a frequency change. If you could even hear me. 1215 Golf, Golf, Exchange, Bridge, see I have a good day, thanks, 1215 Golf. There we go, VFR. Toronto traffic, white Cessna is sent to the south. We'll make left traffic 17, full stop, Toronto. There we are. Airport's right in front of me. I'm currently headed straight to it. What I'll do is I want to go heading because I want to go to the right of it a little bit to uh, get in on a good left downwind for runway 17. Cal flaps, lights are all on. I'll get the cal flaps open here in a little bit. And there we go. I'll go flaps 10 just to slow down a little more because, again, my objective right now is to come down more than I wish to move forward over the ground. I'm a little bit high, but I don't want to go any steeper on the descent, so I'll just slow down, and that will allow me. And this is the rule with flying. Here's the rule with airplanes. The faster I go, the steeper my descent must be to reach a given waypoint or point in space at a given altitude. The slower I go, the shallower of a descent I can get away with while not passing my point at a higher altitude than I desire. Does that make sense? And that's a rule that's always true. It's not an airplane rule, it's a, a law. It, 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 that's how things work. The faster I move towards something and I'm descending, I have to more steeply descend to it because I've, my closure rate is much higher or faster. The slower I go or slow down, I'm able to go down towards it at a shallower rate, at a more comfortable rate, without popping my eardrums while not ending up high when I get there. So I hope that makes sense. The faster you go, the steeper your descent must be. The slower you slow down to, the shallower your descent could be while still achieving what you want to achieve. All right, let's go here to the right and we'll make a call. Toronto traffic, white Cessna is five to the south, make left traffic, one seven, full stop Toronto. We'll get a visual approach going, just for good situational awareness. And we could see, there we go, there's the final approach course. And I'm heading here to the right of it for left traffic runway 17. I don't see anyone, I don't see anyone, I don't hear anyone. Again, doesn't mean there's no one there, but so far um, it's leading me to believe I'm legit the only person here. So there we are. In fact, I'll even go flaps 20 to slow down further um, while I descend at 500 a minute so I reach it where I want to reach it. There we go. Now I'm turning to parallel the runway. There we have it. There's the runway. Looks like I have a 10 knot tailwind, which uh, big time is favoring runway 17 as I anticipated. Low vacuum. There we go. Paralleling the runway. I anticipated about 32 Celsius on the ground. It's currently 28, so I'm led to believe that it's just about 32, 33, something like that. And we'll be warming up. And we'll be warming up. All right. In fact, let's do a nice short approach here. I want to show you this thing has a, an amazing stole kit on it. Uh, this, thing flies, could, this thing could pass the fence at 50, 55 knots, which is crazy, that's 206. Um, but you'll see just the amazing capabilities of this airplane um, in terms of just adding so much parasitic drag to the airplane to where you just fall like a potato and land and your ground roll is just nothing. You can touch down at a really slow airspeed. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate that and hopefully the camera is able to convey uh, just how incredible that is. Toronto traffic, white Cessna is left now at uh, 17. We're making a short approach, Toronto. There we go. Autopilot comes, comes off. There we go.
go. Prop forward, mixture forward, cow flaps open, and here we go. I'll go flaps full. There we are. There's the airport right beneath me, so I hope you guys can see out the window, even a little bit. All right, there's flaps full. There's the runway. Here comes my power. Again, I'm going from engine to gravity only. Turn traffic, white Cessna, left base, one seven, short approach, turn up. There we go. Got some back trim there to do the work for me. So the plane's doing what I want it to do. I'm not really muscling it, and that's the power of trim. Toronto traffic, white Cessna, turning short, final one seven, short approach, turn up. And there it is. And we're down. And if I hit the brakes hard, we could be at a stop in no time. And that's it, that's the power. I didn't even look what my descent rate was, but it was absolutely crazy. And we're at a stop pretty much on taxi speed here, um, which is absolutely crazy. So this plane is really, even without the stole kit, these 206s have incredible short field capabilities and adding a stole kit makes it that much, that much better. It's absolutely crazy. And there we go. Welcome to Trona. Hope you guys enjoyed that approach, uh, descent and approach, and little discussion. And if you guys have a chance, if you're ever looking for a fun airport to fly out to in the desert, this is a great one. And like I said before, there's really no one out here. So if you're looking for a quiet airport to do your thing, uh, this is a fantastic, fantastic airport. And there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I'll be shutting down here in a moment. And until next time, if you guys are in flight training, as always, stick with it. I know it can be annoying sometimes, but I tell you, it's really, really, really worth it. Really worth it. Get the nose wheel straight, turn it around. Here we go. All right. AC. All right, you guys. We'll see you here on the next one.